All right, lesson 37, lesson 37. So when you're drawing a picture of a fraction, it could be written in a few different ways. So right here, right here, right here, all three of these, if I were to shade this side in, and shade this side in, let's say shade this side in, how much of the box am I shading in on all of those, Ian? Yep, on all three of those, that is half of the box. That is half of the box. So what if I shaded this much of the box in and I said this is, and I said this equals one half shaded. Does that look like one half shaded to you, Evan? No, not even close. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so as long, it needs to be right down the middle for it to be one half. Then it would be one half shaded. Okay, so that's all it's talking about on example one is saying that one half can be shaded in different ways. Yes, Ian. Yeah. Which one? This one? Previous? Yeah. also in your book on page 180. Okay. Example two. Example two. So draw a rectangle and shade one third of it. Draw a rectangle and shade one third of it. Evan, how would I do that? How would I draw a rectangle and shade one third of it? Why don't you go do it on um, the board that's behind my desk and shade one third of a box? And Ian, why don't you go up on the other board and shade one third of a box. Yeah. Of a box. I don't care what kind of box it is, I just want you to shade one third of it. Okay. Yep, one third of it. Beautiful. That looks good. You're shading one third. <laughs> Beautiful. That looks perfect. Well done. One third and one third. Good. Nope. Are you sure you finished all those? Why well, didn't I did that metric for customary? So I wouldn't turn it in yet because you might need some of that for tomorrow when you put it on your note card. Oh. The conversions. So I wouldn't turn it in yet. So good job. You guys shaded in your boxes correctly. So what if I gave you an example that looked like this? What if I gave you an example that looked like this guy right here. I'd say it looks like the Canadian flag. I don't think you know what the, uh, actually that's kind of close. Oh, yeah. All right, Ian, how much of this is shaded? Um, okay. Four over seven, right? No. What? Let's count them all again. Two, four, six, eight. There you go. So eight is your bottom Four number. Over eight. Bingo, which can be reduced to what? Four equals. Eight. What can four over eight be reduced to? We're reducing our fractions. One half. Yep, one half. One over two. Nailed it. Yep, 
Good job. All right, so then you guys can continue working with your math homework because that is all you have is just shading in boxes. That's okay. You'll have enough examples in your book.